All right, y'all. What y'all think about this? What y'all think about this? CC Winans, she said that she turned down Whitney Houston's I'm Every Woman video because of its ungodly lyrics. She actually said it was demonic. And I'm going to show you the video. I have the video right here. I'm going to show you in a second. I guess uh, CC Winans, you know, she's a gospel singer. She was given a sermon. I was trying to find the full sermon. Um, I couldn't find the full sermon, though. But I have a clip of the sermon where she was talking about uh, the song I'm Every Woman being demonic and how she turned it down. Um, it's interesting. It says CC Winans, uh, Winans had some quorum quorums qualms 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 is that how you say it qualms <laughs> about appearing in whitney houston's music video for her cover of shaka khan's uh 1978 hit i'm every woman during a recent sermon the gospel singer uh shared that she turned down the opportunity to appear in the music video because of the song's demonic lyrics uh let me just show you the video i'm not gonna read it to you let me just show you the video when your aim is to please him in everything you do, guess what? A lot of things are not going to even come your way. A lot of us are stressed out about stuff, and we already know that it don't please God, right? So when you aim to please God, then a lot of offers that come my way, I don't even, I don't even have to think about. You know, one of my, one of my dear friends who have gone on, to, gone on to be with the Lord, praise God, um, uh, and she was so famous. She was so famous. And she let me know that I really didn't want to be famous uh, was Whitney Houston. Right. She was my dear sister and friend. And and I remember she was about to do one of her big videos. And uh, it was I'm Every Woman. It's a great video. Right. Really nice. Good. Good. The song is um, when you think about how it was written, it's a great song. Right. But the lyrics don't line up with the word of God. Right. Mm. So she knew. She said, Cece, I want you to be in this video, but I know you're not going to be in it. I said, you're absolutely right. Because it started off with, I could cast a spell. I'm not singing that. <laughs> but, but notice how that message was all wrapped up in the beat, right? Y'all get so hooked onto these beats, and it's like demonic. Mm -hmm. You're listening to demonic stuff, and you wonder why you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> You can't listen and look at everything. God say, you're either for me or you're against me. You're either with me or you're not. The biggest deception is the, the devil make you think it's an in-between. Show me a scripture that says there's an in-between. There is no in-between, guys. So, so a lot of stuff is cut out. Y'all worried about stuff that shouldn't even be in your life. Because it says you're either for me or you're against me. So she was like, I know you're not. I said, no, you're right. It's cute, though. Cute video. But then she called me back for count on me. She's like, sis, I got the song. I was like, this is great. Friendship, this is going to work. Because it lines up with my faith. You see, I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to sing. Mm. Dang. I'm a believer who happens to sing. I'm a believer first. That's really interesting. Um, for a couple of reasons. I definitely do think there's a lot of us who need to watch our consumption. And I've said this before. Like, we need to watch our consumption. We need to be very mindful of the spirit of God that lives inside of us. And we need to be very mindful of consuming certain things, whether it be television shows, movies, uh, music, your friends, maybe even your family members who are grieving the Holy Spirit that's inside of you. We need to be very mindful of it. Am I telling you, you have to avoid every situation where there's going to be secular music or Avoid every situation where, you know, something's going to be played on a, on a commercial or whatever. I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm telling you to be mindful of your consumption because there's a lot of things that are created, especially when we talk about Hollywood. Y'all already know how demonic Hollywood is. Hollywood is not designed to glorify God. It's designed to glorify this world. We already know that. 
So we have to be mindful of what we consume and not just blindly consume things. Because ultimately what we allow inside of our, you know, inside of our minds, inside of our eyes, what we what we allow to, you know, enter our spirit is going to have an effect. Like if I'm listening to, you know, a certain type of music, whether it be like rap music or something like that, it starts to have an effect on me. Like I start talking different. I start walking different. I start thinking differently. I start treating people around me differently. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can relate. Maybe you can't, but there's, there, there, there's more to it than what we actually think. So I think she's definitely right from that standpoint. It's also interesting. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how she could have a friend like Whitney Houston, who is involved in this music industry, um, who isn't necessarily serving God in the same way that C.C. Winans is explaining that, you know, she's serving God in terms of like being obedient and in terms of like not doing certain projects because they don't align with the will of God. But it's interesting how those two can still be be friends and how C.C. can still be in Whitney Houston's life. And can, you know, provide some sort of light to Whitney Houston. And even like CeCe was saying, even Whitney Houston was like, you know what? I, I know you're not going to do it. I know you're not going to want to be a part of this song, but I'm going to ask you anyway. It sounds like even Whitney Houston could identify, okay, look. She's operating at a different, you know, level of values than the world is. And Whitney Houston can see that. And I think that's, it's interesting because, you know, I think oftentimes, sometimes we can feel like we have to only hang out with Christians. And I think it's good for us to have a foundation of Christians around us. I think it's good to have friends and family members who have the same beliefs as you, because ultimately we need people to encourage us. We need fellowship. I think we should have a lot of Christian uh, friends and, and mentors and um, all of that around us. But I also think that we should have friends who maybe are not Christian, maybe are not on the same level uh, as we are, because we can help to mentor those people. We can help be a light in their life. And even if they don't, you know, come to a, a full um, level of relationship that, you know, we perceive ourselves to be with Jesus at least we're introducing them to you know what it means to follow Jesus and what it looks like to have christian values and you know i pray i mean at this point you know whitney houston's already passed away but you know i hope that you know whitney houston was saved um i hope cc winans was able to be that light in her life in order to to you know, get her into heaven because ultimately that's what it's all about. Um, but also another thing that she said was that, you know, she's a Christian first, she's a Christian who sings. And I think that's the, that's the mindset that we all need to have is that, yo, no matter what we do, we are Christians first, no matter what you do, no matter what industry, no matter what you're doing, you're a Christian first. And just because you're in a certain industry, Just because you're in a certain industry, that doesn't mean that you have to compromise your belief system. That doesn't mean that you have to compromise your faith in order to to get ahead, in order to advance. Because ultimately, God's the only one that's going to give you a promotion, not your employer, not your boss, not your, you know, relationships, not your network. But God is ultimately the only one that is going to give you that promotion. But I think a lot of us start to put, you know, our career and things of that nature above our relationship with God. And then what happens? We advance, we get the promotion, you know, we, we get everything that we want from a career standpoint, but we, but we feel so unfulfilled. We feel empty. There's a void. Well, that's because you're putting these things above God. And ultimately these things of this world can't fulfill us. 
not like God can. And that's why you feel empty. And that's why you see so many of these celebrities who have it all, money, cars, fame, women, men, whatever they're into, you know what I'm saying? They have it all, but they're jumping off of bridges. They're, 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 you know, offing themselves. It's like, how does that happen? Well, because there's an absence of God in their life because they've chose to put the things of this world above that relationship with Jesus. So look, I don't know how we got to this point from this video, but um, yeah, that's what it is. Let me know what you think about what, let me know what y'all think about this video. Um, do you still listen to secular music? Do you still watch secular movies? Are you, you know, I, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Get in the comments. <laughs> let me know what y'all think. Um, I appreciate all the support. It really means a lot. I'm out.